All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So today, we have our wizard. We actually made it yesterday. We deleted our old Dark Knight. That was basically our uh, Zarka boss alt. And so, yeah, we made our wizard. It's level 12 right now. Um, what we're going to do is use the Fugar's timepiece to transfer it over. And I kind of have a general idea of how it's supposed to work. But it's not really clear in the tooltip, so I asked some of my guildies who did it. And then, uh, so we're gonna, basically we're gonna learn how to do all this firsthand. And, um, one of the risks we're probably gonna take is, I, in theory, this should work. But, like, our season pass, I haven't completely finished it yet. But we're gonna see if that carries over to, basically, my wizard. So, for the most part, in theory... The level should carry over, my skill point should carry over, and that's about it. Um, I'm not really sure how the gear is itself is supposed to go, but, um, I mean, for the most part, <laughs> it's two volley gear in a nutshell. So anyway, let's go do it. Uh, we clicked our timepiece. This is the one we want to transfer, season transfer. Um, the reason why we chose wizard was one because that was the only class we do not have of and um, Yeah, that's okay. Hold on. You must Unequip all your gear before attempting to transfer Like unequip all my gear on here, okay Upon using the transfer, you will move to the select character window, and your character will obtain three types of Tuvala weapon exchange coupons. All seasonal privileges will be transferred to the selected character, and the transfer is irreversible. Well, that's what we were testing, yeah. You must unequip all your... Oh, dude, really? Okay. Why does it even matter if my pearl costume is counted? So in theory, the way this works is my wizard should be level 61 as well. And basically, the wizard is now seasoned while my corsair is not so let me let me just mess with the order a little bit. Uh, it goes by four, right? Four, one, two. I like how it shows the icons of, like, if you have a boat out. They must have changed the music, because I usually don't play with music on. Okay, let's, uh... Let's test this. So it said 61. Oh, nice. Oh my god, this is such a goofy looking character. Okay, so right now, Wizard and Corsair are both 61, same skill points and all that stuff. Uh, this is no longer a season, but this one is. Let's check. Okay, yeah, this is for the most part where I left off. But now we get to have a character that... Um, what we're going to do is the succession quest line because Suck Wizard is strong. Apparently, you have to do, um, 
awakening before succession, which ultimately is fine. Uh, hold up. I thought we're supposed to get a Tuvala box. Yikes, what is that? I thought we were supposed to get like a Tuvala box of gear. Do we not get it? Is it supposed to go in our mail or? Anyway, let's see, what do we need? Um, well, first of all, we need HP. Uh, I have played wizard, or no, not wizard, witch a little bit, so I am a little bit familiar with the abilities, not all of them. Um, so if you are a wizard, let me know, like, what are the important things. I know PA is still self strong now. Mmm... Residual lightning is strong. We should get that. I don't know how important Blizzard is. Like, it's obviously good, but I don't know how, like, regularly important it is. Um... Can revive people? I know Sage's memory is important. I heard freeze is actually kind of bad. Like, if you freeze someone, it counts as a CC, and then, like, actually, if the person were to break out of it, that would take less damage than if you were to just blast someone, so that's why I see, like, wizards not using it as much. I'm not super familiar with all of these, but I feel like Meteor is pretty good. Lightning is used a lot. I'm pretty sure healing is good. <laughs> Lighthouse important. Do you quick slot lighthouse or do you just shift D? Uh, okay. Pretty sure cast speed is extremely important. Okay. I don't know how important dagger stab is.
Wait, what's the... What does this do? Oh, just less stamina? Okay. I think Earthquake is important. We'll get Blizzard just for the sake of getting Blizzard. Um, pretty sure I do want Lightning. Lightning Storm and Chain Lightning is good for PBE. Unclear on uh, the others, though. So, hmm. How important is this? Fireball Explosion. Do you need both of them? No, I don't think you need Explosion on Hotbar. I... Huh. Interesting. Shift RMB. I kinda have a feeling I should quick slot these until I actually learn it. Alright, let me transfer my seasonal gear over. I think it works, I hope. Once we get uh, Awakening, we'll do Succession. So that's what we'll do now. Keep in mind, Wizard is a pretty old class, so that means the stuff is probably going to be, or Awakening and Succession are probably gonna be a bit dated, but that's okay. Let's go take those out immediately on this character. Oh, wait. I think the uh, Tuvala Exchange... Eh, I don't even think I should use it, to be honest, because like my weapons are at Pry. It's so easy to just make another one. Yeah, it's not worth using the coupons on this character. Like, if it was Pen, maybe, but... Like, I'm not even full pen on this character, so it doesn't even matter. Should probably eat some of those inventory coop things. One more transfer over for a few things, and then I think we're good. Let me go make some, like, Naru gear for ourselves, and then... We'll, uh, turn that into Tuvala, I believe, I hope.
Oh god. To bound a character. So, can I put, like, I don't know why you have to take off pearl gear. Why did I get those? Why do I have these? Apparently, you can wear Naru gear on non-season. Good to know. Alright, cool, I think. Um, ultimately, making Naru gear shouldn't be too difficult. If I need a Tuvala Awakening, sure. Feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not sure what. What is that? Tuvala. Oh, that's a uh, awakening weapon. Alrighty, um, Problem solved. Let's go enhance this a little bit. Yeah, we could have just transferred it over, but with the coupons was like, do I care? Not really. It's it was only pride to Vala anyway. Alright, I forgot. Rip Horse, you're going on to this character now. It does feel good that this character isn't on season and I can actually uh, do whatever, I guess. Wait, can you s with these? Do I still have the option to... Hold up. Yeah, hold up. If I have these things, can I still turn it into Tuvala? If so, that's good. No. 
new players be like, oh, enhancing is so easy, then they get hit with real, like, once your season's over, get hit with boss gear. And it no longer is easy. Bruh. These are probably just like, what are you doing? I'm just like, I don't know. This is my luck in a nutshell. Oh, he did it. Let's go. Dang, it's bound to character. Wait, does it not work? How does this work? Um... in the world i know this came out a while ago but i'm not exactly sure like what this does i'm gonna open it on my wizard though i should probably do it for all the uh pieces but it's uh like honestly after the season ends i'm just gonna put real gear on my wizard Oh, I'm dumb. I, I forgot what I was doing, and I was supposed to put the horse in the storage. Oh god, where's my horse, dude? Really? Did I really put the horse whistle? Or no, wait, did the horse whistle just expire? Yeah, I think they expired. Dang, that's not even a courser. Unlucky. My knowledge of how to play this game or how to play wizard is very limited. All I know how to do is play witch and that one is also very limited. All right, let's see, what do we need? I know I... All right, let's actually see what this is all about. Mm. 
Not even a season weapon. Isn't that, I swear this is like a weapon meant for seasons. But I guess it's just like 28 to 30. What is that, like pry? I don't even know, like is that? Twenty-eight to thirty, uh, with sixteen DP. Yeah, that's slightly higher than try. Oh, wait, no, is it twenty-seven, twenty-nine? Yeah, that's one AP DP higher than a try, but you can't use it on season. Yeah, that's fine. I don't. Ultimately, I don't care. If I just wanted something, I'll buy a kudum and enhance it. All right, let's uh. Guff this. Let me go buy some potions. Once I actually understand how to play wizard more, I'll start removing things from the hotbar, but until then... Where do we go? Down here. This is awakening, right? So yeah, I'll probably finish up my season pass and then after that, I guess, I don't know. Whenever we're allowed to convert our season character to our regular one and get our reward at the end. Then I'll do that. Because I got to level 61 on my Corsair in about four days, which I know is, in theory, for a veteran player, is uh, <laughs> actually quite a long time. You should do it in about a day and a half or less than a day. But I just play casually. You know, one other thing I was actually thinking of was attempting to make a unicorn or doom horse. And the reason why I want to do that is, well, honestly, I just want a unicorn for the days I have war in the desert. And that's literally it. And then if I got doom horse, doom horse just looks cool. So, I mean, win-win. I do not want another Ardunaut or Pegasus. But either way, um, I wouldn't be investing any silver into it other than just buying it off the market if I see one. Forgot, I don't have a Pegasus, just can't eat myself off of things. I wouldn't say, like, if you were a new player and you, like, the season was the first time you've ever, like, did anything and started the game, would I recommend doing the Fugar timepiece? The answer is I would hold it until the end of the season, like, I don't know, one week before 
the season ends so you can max out your skill points and copy it over. So like, basically the idea is you're copying it over, but you like don't have to do it again. So for me, for example, I already like have a main character that I, I play. So the skill point itself, I could grind that out pretty easily. For like everyone else, what? wait, hold up. But yeah, like for everyone else out there, if this is your first time playing, wait till the end so you can maximize your first character and then Fugar time piece it, then you're good. See Arnie. Yo, first of all, how did you even get here? Oh, you, there's a path down. Oh, I see. Okay. I never knew that existed. I do now. That's uh, probably because I never played Wizard until today. Kick. Honestly, there's a lot of things I haven't done in this game, even after playing for what, like. I've been playing this game since beta. Off and on. Well, like, my first ever character, like, on day one of the game was a Valkyrie. And then I played it for, I played BDO for a month or two after, like, the 2014 or 2016 launch, I believe. And then took about a six-month break. Or, and then I came back a little bit and played before, a few months before the Dark Knight released. And then didn't play Dark Knight ever since. What are you? A water spirit. Good old triple quest that we've done before. Hazra, Soldier's Grave, and the other one, Mains. The most annoying thing is honestly like the fact that this NPC is all the way on the other side of the map. Like for a new player, if you, for example, wanted to play wizard for the first time you probably should have explored the map quite a bit before doing all this well actually if you are a new player now getting to 56 um you should probably have Balanos, Serendia, Calpheon I don't maybe a little bit of Medaya and Altanova explored I don't think you should have on Valencia, comma Sylvia, or Dregan unlocked yet. Well, like, it's there, but you probably wouldn't have been there for, assuming you're just going through the story. do the awakening and then I I think succession should be fine how much AP do we have 135 that's a little bit of a yikes but I 
think that should be good. do is get the succession. Speaking of that for witches, is succession or awakening better? I don't actually know. I don't even think I've done the succession quest line for my witch. I left it at awakening. That's about as much as I play it. Good old 61 transfer with zero, basically no karma. Fun game. I really hope the karma rework in the future is actually good. actually know how to dude that meteor thing if you get hit by it it actually kind of hurts i don't even know how to cancel this lightning to be honest <laughs> this is what i get for just like not knowing how to play Uh, why did this ability shift F earth thingy take so long? What in the world? We out. Beat 50 Hazara Ancient Weapons and 50 Mains. Easy. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. Mains are over here. The annoying part about this, that I wish they would revamp or like redo all the awakening quest lines for the older classes that came out with the launch of the game. Wizard, I, well, like, within the first two years, because they're all the same. They've been doing a better job with the Awakenings and uh, Successions with the newer classes, but, like, these are the old ones, and it feels the same. Well, they are the same. Mains, Soldier's Grave, Hazra, every time. It is a good thing I'm playing a wizard though. And uh big AoEs everywhere. Yeah, 
like that, except I don't know how to cancel it, so uh, I'm bad. So my understanding of what I watch other people play is they do the chain lightning thing. And then they pull all the enemies together and then they just big AOE the ground. Shift R and B. Have those follow you. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna need you to get on this horse uh, right now. All right, so I assume once I do the Hazra one, um, we talk to the person again, get that, it's good. And then I might call it there, but then we'll do the succession quest line afterwards, like in another video, depending on how long it takes. I'm pretty sure it's just a boss, but I don't, I have to actually go soon, so. I think I have enough time to just finish these and then turn it in. Dude, I just push one button and things are gone. Okay, game. This is why, uh...
God, grinding on wizard must be like the easiest thing. It's probably not the most exciting, but oh my god, the AOEs. I feel like I've miss been missing out all this time over the past like six years I've been playing this game for five years. All I have to do is like look at things and it's just like everything's aggroed on me. That's so awesome. Bruh, I've been missing out all this time. You made a mistake maining a dark knight, bruh. Alright. Okay, I just had to make sure all of them were in the same spot so I don't have to go to like Altanova and then Calpheon just to turn these dumb quests in. Though after that, with all this said, I've actually, I have one of every class now. That's awesome. I mean, they give you technically enough slots to make one of every class, but back five years ago or something, four years ago, I decided I wanted to make two Dark Knights for some reason. Well, good to know I have a wizard now, just in case um, I ever feel like I want to siege one day, if it ever becomes fun again. I think in my entire BDO career, I've sieged maybe like six times. And every single one of them, I didn't really have fun. It's not that I was doing poorly, it's just that when there's 200 plus people fighting, your game just kind of lags, it happens. Almost like you don't see what's happening and just instant die. Yeah, for all of you who are pushing like 62 and up on your season character, I would definitely do that first before using the Fugar's timepiece thing. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna skip the Awakening on this character. It's just the only you need to do it first before doing succession. So you get what is the other one called? The uh, golem. I know for which I think it's like gore or something. But yeah you, you get the other thing. But either way, that has always been kinda annoying to fight the golems when I'm fighting Awakening. Wizards and witches, it, like it CCs you, and the wizard or the player just kind of goes in and bursts you down. 
To the point where, honestly, I would rather fight a Succession Wizard or Witch before fighting Awakening the Golems. Obviously, a Succession does more, but that's just my opinion. going what in the world uh... hold up where is this taking me bruh I have a feeling I'm doing the wrong thing by following the auto path what in the world I would Okay, you know what? I'm doing this my way. What a dumb auto path. Dude, Aqua Jail is probably still one of my favorite look coolest like looking abilities. Okay, so it's right here, but I actually do have to head out right now. So I'm just going to park my character here, and we'll figure this out next time. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. I hope you enjoyed it.